Good morning, family and friends. Good morning, trusting God in our generation family. What's the way you are? I come to greet you this morning. Blessed be the name of the Most High God. Blessed be the name of the Most High God this morning. Our God is good all the time, and all the time God is good to you, brothers and sisters. The Bible says we should pray without ceasing, family and friends. We should pray without ceasing. This is what we need to do to pray without ceasing. Hallelujah. God is good all the time, and all the time He's good to you. And our family and friends, it is raining this morning. Hallelujah. I want to bless God this morning. I forgot to bring my end brother. I brought a raincoat. And stop me putting your end brother. Hallelujah. I brought a raincoat. But family and friends, I just want to greet you this morning to tell you that God, Jesus Christ, is alive. Our sister tell the ones that believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. There are so many people that, that does not believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of the Most High God. I don't want you to believe that that he is, he is not the Son of the Most High God. He is the Son of the Most High God. He came even, he was God on in him of flesh. He came, God coming on earth. Hallelujah. In our midst of do to come and show us how he loves us. Hallelujah. So, Father, Son, Father, whatever you are, I greet you all this morning. I greet you all this morning and I tell God thank you for your life this morning. Now today is September 27. I want to bless God for waking us up to be alive to see another wonderful, magnificent day today. He is great and mighty God. He is excellent. He is omnipotent, omnipresent. Yahweh is his name. Today is the 27th of September. Blessed be the name of the Lord who has guided us and protected us and spared our life and chair when we're up to this time. We need to be grateful to God, promise and friend. Thank God, thank you, that this morning we are alive to see another day. Thank God for your family. Be grateful every day. He said, let the whole earth, I will read for you Psalm 100 this morning and tell you what God is saying about how we need to be thankful to him every day. I will read for you Psalm 100. First of all, before I get into the scripture, I gotta have to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, thank you this morning, oh God, for your people. All over in the world, in the diaspora, I lift them up to you this morning. Oh God, thank you, oh God, for the rain. Thank you for your grace over our life, oh God. Thank you for every weather that come, oh Jesus. Father, thank you, oh God, for giving the grace, oh God, to be able to send to encourage my brothers and sisters in the faith this morning to tell them to pray, to tell them to, as, to be grateful and be thankful for every little thing you have blessed them with in the name of Jesus. I just want to say thank you this morning for the life. I want to say thank you to God for taking control of the life, the family. And I just want to glorify your name, oh God, because it's the assistant that the ones that we should believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And that shall be saved, that in a household. Help my families and friends, brothers and sisters in the Lord to believe. Brothers and sisters, ask this thing to the one that said we should believe on the Lord Jesus Christ that we will be saved. We in our household. Brothers and sisters, we need to redeem the time for the days are evil. We need to redeem the time for the days are evil. We are living in a time of evil. Evilness as a self, evil, wickedness is all over brothers and sisters in the world. We need to redeem the time when you accept Jesus Christ. We need to repent. Brothers and sisters, turn away from our wicked way because the Bible says, no one will enter into the kingdom of heaven. No one that is practicing homosexualism, lesbianism, killing, drunkenness, sorcery, witchcraft will enter into the kingdom of heaven, brothers and sisters. No adulterer and adulteress will enter the, the kingdom of heaven. Only those that do the will of his father, brothers and sisters, will enter into the kingdom of heaven. So are we not going to learn to do his will? Of his father to enter into the kingdom of heaven, are we not going to get do what God wants to do? Instead of waste our time in this place, brothers and sisters, because when we are wasting our time, for nothing and say we are we are serving God but we are not our heart our lips are far away our heart speak about him our lips speak about him but our hearts are far away from him he said as we speak about him our heart should be for him and we should live according to his principle that going our life in this world families and friends brothers and sisters there is the word I care for you this morning I'm gonna bring for you Psalm 100 whatever you are this morning father live all your people trusting going our generation family I give them to you this morning, oh God. I go, you search their heart this morning. What's it what they are? They and their children. Father, make way out of nowhere for them. Guide and protect them against principalities, power of darkness, spiritual wickedness. Every attack or Satan be canceled against the love of these people and their family. In the name of Jesus. Be that lifted up, be that exalted in this place, oh God. Even as I come to bring a word to your people this morning, let me decree you, God. Increase, search my heart. Create, me, create in me a clean heart and a clean spirit. I came from my bag, I was sitting beside the horse and it's raining. Everything is getting wet. So, families and friends, I bring you a word this morning to remind you about you to be thankful to God for whatever He has given to you and your family. Be thankful and be grateful for everything God has given to you. Hallelujah. Jealousy, bitterness. These things will practice, brothers and sisters. Unforgiveness, resentment cannot carry us into the kingdom of heaven. 
Let me get rid for you. Some horn real quick. I ready for you some honey this morning. What God wants to do for him whenever we wake up in the morning. How we need to glorify his name. How we need to be grateful. Brothers and sisters. He said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord all ye lands. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord all ye lands. He's talking about the entire universe. He wake up. We need to make a joyful noise to God to tell him thank you for giving us the life that we are living today. To be even breathing. Because the air that we breathe is priceless. Life, money cannot buy the air that we bring. The oxygen we are taking in here is only provided by God. Not no man provide it. So we need to be thankful. Say, make a joyful noise. Regardless of the trials and tribulation, you need to make a joyful noise. Thank God. Thank you, oh God, Jehovah. Thank you for waking me up this morning. Thank you for my family. Thank you for your blessing over my life. Thank you for the food you have given to us. Thank you for the strength you gave me to go away. Thank you, oh God, for making provision for me. Thank you for your healing over my life. Thank you for your guidance over my life. Thank you for your favor over my life. We need to be thankful. We need to be thankful, families and friends. He said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. Serve the Lord with gladness. You have to serve God with gladness. You can't serve God with bitterness, resentment into your heart, brothers and sisters. They wish me you are wasting your time because God sees the heart. He sees our heart and judges us concerning our, according to our hearts and our deeds. He That's why he's going to judge us where? But our deeds on earth. What have we done? Were we the people that were selfish and bitter and jealous over other people's blessing? Or were we the people that are always thankful and pleased with everybody and love everyone? He said, Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with sinking. Come before his presence as he enter into the sanctuary, enter into the, the church. The church, the one they call church today, we is the sun of God in those days. And the temple, enter into it with thanksgiving unto the Lord. With sinking. Into his presence with sinking. Brothers and sisters, that's what he wants us to do. Enter into his presence with sinking. Know that he is the Lord, he is God, he the one that made us. You have to know that. He is the one that wake you up this morning to be content and living. He the one that wake your children up this morning. He the one that wake every member of your family up this morning. It's not with ourselves. It's not by our power or our righteousness that we are wake up. This He woke up this morning. It's by his grace that we are here. So he said. Enter into a gate with sinking. He said, know that he is the Lord. He is God that made us. Not with ourselves. We are this people. And the sheep of his pastures. We are his people. And the sheep of his pastures. We are in this world. We are his sheep on his pastures. Yet to take care of the world and to, to do, to obey his commandment and live according to his principle for our lives. Family and friends. Yes, that's what we need to do. Enter into a court with praise. Enter into a gate with thanksgiving. And into a court with praise. Into his gate. Whenever you want to go, you want to go praise. Bless the name of the Lord. Even you are praying in your own home. Brothers and sisters, ask for forgiveness. Ask God to forgive you. Even if you are praying in your home, ask God to forgive you. Enter into his court with praise, with thanksgiving. And into his court with praise. Giving thanks. Praise be. Give him thanks, brothers, and be thankful unto the Lord and bless his name. Be thankful in everything, families and friends. We need to be thankful. Be a good or bad or happy in your life. Be thankful. Whatsoever that is bad, God can change it for your good. Whatsoever the enemy has stolen for your, for your bad and seeking your downfall, God will turn it for your good, for your interest. So you got to be thankful in everything. Anything that happened to us, whether it's bad or good, we need to be thankful. That's what he said. Because whatsoever bad comes from, good is also coming from there. Because he can make the impossible possible. He can change things around in a time, in a minute, every, in a second. So when bad things happen, they say, Father God, you know why it happened. You know. I just want to say thank you to God. For a bill, not because of you, it, gonna be, it could be worse than this. Give the it could be worse than this, Lord. I just want to say thank you to the Lord. It could be worse than this. You give God the glory. Father, I take thank you that it could be worse than this. But it's your grace that it, it, it is that this. Father, I take thank you. Bless the name of the Lord. Give me the glory and the honor. Be thankful for everything. Oi. The last one, because Psalm 100 is only from 1 verse 1 to 5, you know. 
For as far as Psalm 100 says, For the law is good. His mercy is everlasting. Our God is a good God. His mercy is everlasting. Promise and friends. Everlasting to everlasting. His mercy is all you and I. As long we are his people. And walk into his status. And commandment for. <laughs> that going our life in this world. His what? His. For the Lord is good. And his mercy is everlasting to everlasting. For everlasting presence. So nobody can try change the, the what the goodness of the lord upon you in our life nobody can change it it's from everlasting to everlasting he's merciful god he waiting he's not waiting for anyone to go to what hell but to come to repentance that's why he gave him all the opportunity and a second chance for we all to repent and come unto christ and do his will he is good and merciful his mercy is for everlasting and his truth to, to all generations his truth Endure to all generation in this world. His truth endure to all generation. That's Psalm 100 and Psalm 101. Let me see. Psalm 101, Psalm 100, and Psalm 101. I will sing of mercy. I will sing of God mercy every day. Every day you and I need to sing for God mercy, brothers and sisters. We will sing for His mercy and judgment on today. Oh Lord, we are sing. Help us to behave ourselves wisely in a perfect way. Help us, Psalm 101. Help us to behave ourselves wisely in the eyes of God, in the fear of the law. Let us behave ourselves wisely with wisdom and knowledge. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let us behave ourselves wisely in a perfect way. Oh, when thou come unto me, I will walk within my heart with a perfect heart. Let us walk with God in our hearts and in the hearts of God with a perfect heart. Not a heart of jealousy and grief and envyness, unforgiveness, doubt, without faith. And we are going into the house of God, so we are praising God and we have all these things in our heart. Brothers and sisters, God will bless us until we repent, until we re confess these things and leave these things. I will set no wicked thing before my eyes. You and I doesn't have to set any wicked thing before our eyes. That's why we need to watch what we watch on TV, what we watch on television. What are the things that we are looking at? What are the things we are like our children to watch? What are the things we ourselves are watching? Anything that does not edify God, do not engage into it. Do not promise and friend because whatsoever your eyes see, it's so, it's, it affects your whole body, it affects your mind, your consciousness, and your brain. He said, He said, yeah, I will not, I will, I will. I will, I will set no wicked thing before my eyes. I will hit the work of them that turn aside. It shall be not cling unto me. Those, you will hit the things that God hit. You will hit those things that God hit and begin to caution your people, the people that are walking in the things that God hit. You begin to speak to the intelligence and say, God does not love this. Don't do it. That's why you will seek after. You make them to know the truth that God does not love this. We, we are not to live this way. We have to live according to God's way for our life. So you be, be, begin to hit those things. That will bring destruction to your soul. Cling unto God well. If forward heart will depart from me, I will, I will not know a wicked person. If forward heart shall depart from me, I will not know a wicked person. He said, who so, who so proudly slander his neighbor, let him be cut off. Are you understanding what the word is saying? Whosoever that snuggle his neighbor, you just snuggle your neighbor for no reason. You go against your neighbor for no reason. Just because they are in a position that you are not. Wait for your time. God has a blessing for every soul in this world. God has a blessing for every human being in this world. When your time has not yet come, you wait and continue to seek the face of God. Your time will come. You got to be patient because, because guys and fast and two may also know that the fruit of the spirit is one long suffering. That the first thing. If you want to have the fruit of the spirit and live for God in holiness, the first thing is long suffering, kindness and meekness and gentleness. Brothers and sisters, have you forgotten about this one? This is the thing we need to go through. The brothers and sisters, long suffering. So whosoever is not on his wife, his neighbor will be cut off. He that has a hard look and a proud heart will ask suffer. Will, will, will not ask suffer. Thank you, Lord. Whosoever that have a proud heart and proud look, brothers and sisters, God does not like the proud. He resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. For my eyes shall be upon the faithful of the land. God's eyes is upon the faithful. 
Those are living righteousness for God. Those are obey his commandment. Those that obey his commandment and rules and statute, brothers and sisters, his eyes will be upon them. Hallelujah. He said, my eyes shall be upon the faithful. Those that are faithful. Those that are seeking his kingdom for any righteousness that ever ought to be added unto them. Faithful of the land, that they may what dwell in the land. That they will dwell with me. He that walk in a perfect way, he shall serve me. He that walk in a perfect way must serve God. You that walk in a perfect way, you have to serve God. So you can continue to walk in a perfect way. You cannot walk in, in a perfect way and be corruptive. Then Satan can corrupt your goodness. So you walk in a perfect way, you have to serve the Lord. As you walk in a perfect way, you walk in a perfect way by serving the Lord as well. So he said, He that walketh deceit shall not dwell with me. Shall not dwell within my house. He is that walking after deceit and corruption, seeking after pain for other people, destruction, destroying other people's happiness. Brothers and so that deceit, criminality, criminal, liars, fraud, they are deceit. They never taught anything good. He said, He that what that walketh deceit shall not dwell in my house. That's what God is saying. He that what tells lies shall not tarry in my sight. He that tells lies. Some people lie, they are practical liars people lie brothers and sisters until you don't even know what to do with the animal because any word that comes from the mouth is a lie that is a sin god does not love that god does hate liars he said you will not enter into his house and you will not do it in his sight it's not my word that is god word speaking to you this morning i'm the vessel bringing the word to you hallelujah he said you that practice lie and tarry lie will not stand in his sight neither in his house I will clearly destroy all the wicked, he said, in the land. He will clearly destroy all the wicked in the land. That is God's word. We need to depart from evil and do good, families and friends. The judgment of God is coming. We don't know when it will take a course. But we can see the signs and so many things happening in the world. We all need to repent and accept Jesus and live our life for Christ Jesus. And live for the Lord, brothers and sisters. He said, I will early come. He's coming early. I will ever destroy all the wicked of the land. That I may cut off all the wicked. All the wicked doers from the city of the law. Whatsoever God's people are, he's going to cut off the wicked. He's going to destroy all the wicked from the land among his people. He don't want for destruction the people to be living among his people. Everyone that are wicked, he's going to cut them off from the land where his people dwelling. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Brothers and sisters, this is the word. Thanks be to God. Glory be to his name. It is raining as I told you. It is raining today. I forgot the umbrella and I'm too wrinkled and I'm still wet. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So, families and friends, this is the word. Thanks be to God. I bring to you this morning. May God bless your day. May God uphold you. May you keep your faith. Do not give in to the enemy. Continue to trust God with your life, mind, body, and soul. And do not lean on your own understanding. He has said all that he wants to destroy the, the wicked from the land. So, he will surely do that. Blessed be his name this morning. The closing prayer will be taken from the book of Numbers, chapter 6, verse 24 to 26. That said, may the Lord keep you, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord make a face to shine upon you this morning. Whatsoever you are, you and your family, the children, the world, this country, commit this country into your hands. Oh God, this morning, oh God, whatsoever your people are this morning, may your blessing be upon them this morning. Hallelujah. The closing prayer is taken from the book of Numbers. Chapter 6, verse 24 to 26, that says, May the Lord bless and keep us all. May the Lord make a face to shine upon you and I. May he be gracious unto us and give us his peace. Promise, my friend. Don't give us his, his peace. That surpasses all understanding. Peace and liberty. Shalom. Have a blessing and a wonderful Wednesday morning to you all. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord this morning. Promise, my friend. You are highly blessed. You are blessed of the Lord. Have a blessed and a wonderful day. Shalom. Shalom.